أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I wanted, I wanted to say something. Can you all hear me? Yes. Okay. You mentioned that the Prophet وسلم, used to do the small hijras to the mountain and he would isolate himself from society for long periods at a time. And uh, I, don't, I don't think you just mentioned that randomly. You're, I think you're hinting and wants us to do the same kind of, or just uh, at least um, build up to that. And when we're able to do it, do it. And uh, so, yeah. So I just wanted to encourage, encourage everyone, our viewers and everyone in the group, of course, to do this and isolate, isolate ourselves from the society like uh, for a couple of times. And if you can do it immediately, just uh, start small, start maybe spending two hours, one hour a day in the woods, try to learn some skills whenever you are there and just try to be there daily and build it up. And as time goes on, suddenly you'll be able to stay in camp for like, let's say for the weekend and be able to isolate yourself from the city, city life. And as time goes on, you just increase it and increase it. And then you'll be able to, let's say, stay off grid for 10 days, even though it's like 15, 20 minutes walk to your home, but it's in the woods, you just do it. And it's very, very simple thing. You know, it's not a really hard. You'll not be connected to your phone, your computer. You'll be away from, um, yeah, society and uh, all the fitna and like there's no one in the woods. Like uh, and if people come, it will, it'll probably be like two, three, four people at, <laughs> at max. So yeah, so uh, it is a very good uh, and simple thing to do. So we should, uh, before the Prophet received the Quran, he was doing these, these isolations and I think it's also a sign from Allah that, hey, you want to be able to connect closer to the Quran, get off grid and try to isolate yourself from society because that's a sunnah of the Prophet So I think that's a very huge sign from Allah as well. That's just an advice. Alhamdulillah. Uh, young brother Abdullah is beginning to understand me. Alhamdulillah, yeah. It's... We need to make sure that we're not these armchair Muslims. Is we, I think, you know, Brother Abdullah, uh, as as now said it, that we need to be trying, trying it to make these these small attempts to make hijrah, and you know, to go away for a few days, even just leave your family, or go with your family. Um, leave all your phones and your iPads there because if you can't do that then it shows that you are really embedded in the system and the rewiring is going to take a long time I've told you that the rewiring is going to take a long time anyway but as brother Abdullah says if you start to plan just to get out one day, two days, three days, four days um on your own, start to experience making fires, cooking your own food, deep contemplation. Gradually, that rewiring will happen. Uh, and there will be obstacles on the way, and the biggest obstacle, of course, will be shaitan. But um, yes, I really urge you uh, to do this, because obviously, once the Prophet started to do this, then obviously, at the right point, the right time, this is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then revealed It's difficult, but we need to try. Because, you know, when we start to look inside the Quran ayah about the moon and the stars and the mountains and the trees, whether we're living in New York or Mexico or uh, downtown Riyadh or wherever, we... We have no. We are totally disconnected from these signs from the natural world, and so 
I mean, how many, how, how many of us actually saw a night sky of stars? I mean, to see a nighttime of stars, I remember when I was starting to become the field guide and tracker in the Kruger, I mean, I saw, it, it blew my mind away. But, you know, compare the life of the companions of the Prophet Wasallam. They were living in the desert. They were prostrating on the ground. They were connecting to the trees. They saw the moon. Ar-Rahman Allama al-Qur'an Khalaqa al-Insan Allama al-Bayan Al-Shamsu wal-Qamaru bi-Husban Wal-Najmu wal-Shajaru yasjudan